Hey guys, welcome to my channel, the Tech Coders, and today we are going to solve question number 32 of lead code that is longest valid parenthesis. Okay, so question states that you are given a string containing just the characters opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis, and we are supposed to return the length of the longest valid parenthesis substring. Okay, so let's understand with the help of an example what exactly question is saying to us. So see, these are the examples over here. Okay, as in this example, I can see that there is only one valid parenthesis and its length is 2. So my answer will be this only. Okay, now let's come over here. Here I can see that this is one valid parenthesis whose length is 2. And if I take entire this parenthesis, this is also valid and its length is 4. So what is maximum between the two? 4. So this is gonna be my answer. Okay, now this is an empty string. As this is an empty string, it is obvious that my answer will be 0. So this is gonna be my base case if the string is empty or if it is having a length of 1. Let's see that also. This is a string 4 and it, and it is like this. Okay, so over here we are having one opening parenthesis and we are not having any closing parenthesis over here. So over here also the count of valid parenthesis is 0. So I will write simple 0 as my answer. Okay, and now let's move to the other example that is like this. So over here I can see that this is one valid parenthesis whose length is 2. This is second, length is 2, and this is this entire is third, and its length is 4. So, what will be my resultant answer? My resultant answer will be 4. So let's understand our following approach with the help of this example. Let's go. So, see, this was my example as I said above. Okay, so now we are going to use this example to understand the following approach and the code approach over here. So, this is also a string. Okay, I just took all these blocks for the sake of better understanding. So, now see. We'll have three variables over here. The first one is L, which will store the count of left parenthesis. Initially, its value will be 0. Second will be R. Again, its initial value will be 0. And this will count the value of right parenthesis, that is closing parenthesis. And the third one is M, that is the maximum value. Okay, again, its initial value will be 0. So now I'm saying that I'll keep on iterating over the elements. And as it is a left element, I'll increment it by 1. Now its value is 1 over here. Okay. I'll come to here then again r will get incremented by 1 and my value will be 1 now there will be a case when my r is equal to l this means that I'm having a valid parenthesis r is equals to l means like this so all these three are valid parenthesis so what I'll do at that time I'll check for my maximum value that is maximum between current maximum and L plus R. Okay, so now what will be my maximum value? My maximum value will be 2. That is, the value of L and R is 1, 1. So L plus R is 2. Initial my maximum value was 0 over here. So maximum of 0 and 2 is 2. Okay, so I got my answer. Now let's move to further. Now let's move further. Now I'll come over here. Now my R value will be 2. So now there will be a case that is, else if after this one, if the value of r is greater than l, then I'll do simple one thing, r is equals to 0 and l is equals to 0. Why? Let's understand. See, what is the string till yet? It is like this. Okay, this opening and this closing. So this is one valid parenthesis. But now I'm having this one closing parenthesis without any opening one. So even if I'll have hundreds or thousands of opening and closing parenthesis over here, this is not going to make this parenthesis is valid. So it's of no use to use this one. What I'll do, I'll simply do r is equals to 0 and l is equals to 0. Now we'll come here. Okay, as the value of r was 0 and l was 0, now again l will be 1. I'll come here, my r will be 1. Now see, again the value of l is equals to r. Okay, I'll do again this. So now my maximum is already 2. I'll get maximum after doing l plus r. So my maximum will be 2 itself. Okay, now we'll come over here. Now we'll come over here. Now my L will be 2. Again, I'll come over here. Now my R will be 2. Okay, again, R is equals to L. I'll do this part. Okay, that is maximum of 2 and 2 plus 2, which is gonna be 4. Okay, so see, now the loop has been ended. I'm out of my loop. At the end of the day, I, what, what is the maximum value? My maximum value is 4. So this is gonna be my answer over here. Okay, so now let's move to the another example. So see, 
this is my string okay so here i can see that i'm only having one valid parenthesis so my answer should be two so let's see whether i'm getting the right answer or not i'm saying that i'm having three variables r l and m and their initial values are zero so currently i'm at this index okay i am seeing that it is an opening parenthesis that is left parenthesis so i'll increment this value by one now i'll come over here again i'll increment to two then it's a right parenthesis i'll increment to one now i came out of this loop okay after coming out of this loop what i was doing at that time i was i was simply printing out my m so current m is zero but i know that my answer should be two so i'm lagging somewhere i'm lagging somewhere so what we did at that time we were iterating from left to right we were iterating from left to right now we'll do the same thing and we'll iterate from right to left now we'll iterate from right to left so we have reached out of this loop okay we came out of this loop so now after coming out of this loop what we'll do we'll reinitialize ls0 and rs0 so now i'll start iterating from last index that is from here so now this is my right one so my r will be one this is my left one so my r will be one now l is equals to r so what we were doing at that time we were doing this step that is maximum of m and l plus r okay let's check maximum of zero as it was zero over here one plus one that is one plus one so it should be two okay now the current maximum is two now i'll reach over here so my l is two now see over here i was checking when r was equal to l at that time i was reinitializing r as zero and l as zero but in this case what we'll check if l is greater than r we'll reinitialize r as zero and l as zero okay this is the only difference while iterating from left to right and right to left and rest will be the same okay so now see i came out of this loop i came out of this loop what is my current max it is two so it is equals to my answer so yeah this is what we are supposed to do at first we'll iterate from left to right and after that we'll iterate from right to left with the same approach just with th these two different conditions okay after that i'll be having my answer which we are supposed to print it out now let's move to the coding part see what was the base condition the base condition was if the length of the string is zero or one i was returning zero at that time simply now we were having three variables l is equals to zero r is equals to zero and m is equals to zero now we were iterating from left to right that is from zero to last index for int i is equals to zero i is less than s dot length i plus plus okay what you were checking if my current element is opening parenthesis i was incrementing my l else i was incrementing my r now what i was checking i am checking if my l is equals to r or not this means that i am having a valid parenthesis what i was doing at that time m is equals to i am taking out the maximum of current maximum that is m and l plus r okay and else if r is greater than l what i was doing at that time i was simply reinitializing my r as 0 and l as 0 simple that's it now i came out of my loop now i am it now i'll iterate from right to left and what i was doing after coming out of this loop i was reinitializing again my r as 0 and l as 0 now i'll iterate from last index to my first index okay again we'll do the same thing if s of i is equal to opening parenthesis l plus plus else r plus plus if l is equals to r what we were doing at that time we were simply changing our max else if l is greater than r what we were doing we were reinitializing r as 0 and l as 0 simple now after coming out of this loop what we were doing we were simply printing out our maximum so now in this case i'll return my maximum okay now we are done with this coding path let's try to run it sorry i made some mistake over here it was not like that if s of i is equal to my opening parenthesis yes this was the case yeah it is running now we'll try to submit it so now see it is submitted too okay so 
Yeah, guys, this was the solution. I hope you understood all the concepts and logic over here. And in case you are having any query about this, then you can drop that in comments. We'll definitely come out of it. Okay. So please like this video, subscribe our channel, and share this with your friends who are participating in all this lead code and code forces rounds and programming con contest and all. Okay. So thank you for watching and have a good day.